A celebratory welcome for another Israeli visitor to Baku, as President Isaac Herzog makes a trip to the Azerbaijani capital on Tuesday, where he and his Azeri counterpart Ilham Aliyev talked up the long partnership between the two countries. It's no secret that your country is a Muslim country with a predominant Shiite um, majority, and, and yet the love and affection with which are between our nations. Jews uh, in Azerbaijan always were very uh, active and prominent part of our society. For both Israel and Azerbaijan, this is an important relationship for Israel to show its strength in the Muslim world and to take on Iran. We looked at the entire global and regional security structure, which is endangered and threatened by Iran, clearly something which we discussed in depth. And for Azerbaijan too, Israel is a market for oil and a key weapons supplier, including controversially for Azerbaijan's conflict with Armenia and Armenian backed groups, which Azerbaijan sees as being over its territorial integrity. Uh, Azerbaijan has access to modern Israeli equipment in this area for many years, uh, which helps us to be able to uh, protect our statehood, our values, our national interests, and our territorial integrity. Ties between Jerusalem and Baku have been given diplomatic heft in recent months, with a series of high-level visits and a new Azeri embassy in Tel Aviv, showing how important the ties are to both countries. And joining us in the studio, uh, Dr. Emmanuel Naval, CEO of Elnet Israel and an international relations expert. And what I think is really striking here, as we said in the introduction, these well, ties with Azerbaijan go back three decades, soon after they split from the former Soviet Union, Emmanuel. But they were kept on the quiet for so long. And now we're seeing this flurry, Azerbaijan opening, officially opening embassy in Tel Aviv, a high level visit by Isaac Herzog, despite the fact that there are a lot of sensitivities here, Iran to the south, Armenia to its west, and of, and of course, uh, Russia to the north. That's right. Well, Iran is basically a common enemy, even though Azerbaijan is a Shia uh, Muslim country, but it's also a secular country that is very much opposed to Iranian expansionism and uh, imperialism. Uh, and therefore, they see in Iran a threat. Uh, they uh, claim that Iran has been supporting Armenia in the conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan. And therefore. Strange bedfellows. That strange bedfellows. Uh, Christian countries getting Absolutely. support from the Iran, lot, while the, the Shia Muslim country is getting support from Israel. And Israel has been criticized, by the way, in the conflict between Azerbaijan and Armenia, has been criticized by the Armenians uh, for uh, supporting Azerbaijan, even though the Armenians are a uh, Christian minority in the Middle East who've been also. A victim of genocide and the Ottoman right. rule. Uh, but here, of, of course, the choice uh, from Israel's point of view is one of, uh, of realpolitik. Uh, the fact that Azerbaijan is a main partner of Israel, a major supplier of oil for Israel, a major customer of Israeli weaponry and military expertise, according to some rumors with Israeli air bases in Azerbaijan. I'm going to stress rumors and unconfirmed yeah, for that. If they're not confirmed. Uh, but a very close uh, partnership between the two countries, which was kept uh, behind the doors for many years, and now it's being officialized. I think it's also a message that the two countries uh, are sending to the Iranians. Right. Uh, I also, I want to talk, we've talked strategically, also economically, maybe not enough notice is given to it, especially Azerbaijan as a main importer of oil to Israel, which is crucial after those years in which Israel couldn't get oil. And of course, Israeli technology including military technology to Azerbaijan. Yeah, it's a win-win relationship really, where according to some uh, estimates, uh, Israel imports uh, about 40% of its oil from Azerbaijan, which uh, is huge. Uh, and, the, uh, and Azerbaijan is, uh, as I said before, a big customer of Israeli uh, military uh, technology. Uh, it has a war with, uh, with Armenia, but it also uh, feels threatened by, uh, by Iran. So it's really a partnership where Israel benefits economically, Azerbaijan benefits in terms of its, uh, of its defense. And uh, in a way, it's also part of Israel's broader strategy of uh, establishing uh, strategic uh, partnerships uh, with countries around the Middle East 
uh, in the broader term, uh, Azerbaijan is one in the north, uh, but also the special relationship that Israel now has with not in the Middle East, but in Eastern, in in the East Med with Greece and uh, and and Cyprus, and also with some of what we call the the stands. That increasingly, absolutely, the Muslim countries that like Azerbaijan were once part of the Soviet Union. So the former Soviet republics, many of them, most of them in uh, Central Asia and the Caucasus, including Azerbaijan, uh, have become very strong allies of Israel and like. Like Russia today, which of course, uh, because of its close ties with Iran uh, and its aggression in, uh, in, in Ukraine, of course, this has affected Israel's relation with Russia. But with the former Soviet republics, republics including, as you mentioned, uh, in Central Asia, Israel has been able, uh, since the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, uh, to build very, very strong ties. All right. Well, as I said before, extremely, you might say, strange bedfellows that Israel is funding these Muslim majority countries to be now increasingly staunch allies uh, in this region. The wonders of realpolitik. It's certainly. Dr. Emmanuel Navone, thank you thank for you. joining us.